This is going to be a response to the Amazing Atheist. This is not a hate video. This is not an attack. If that's what you were expecting, then click away. It's not what it's going to be. What I'm responding to is I'm answering the paradox and I'm and I'm also going to delve into the assimilation aspect of it. When you bring up assimilation, you bring up the Borg and you know, I I don't think that's that's not what most Americans would accurately describe as assimilation. We don't want Muslim people's individuality taken away or religious freedom or I, I say we, but most rational people wouldn't want that. Not unless they were extremely Hippocratic to liberty. What we do want is some sort of assimilation, some sort of understanding. This is a secular nation. It's not a nation ruled by a religion. It's not ruled by Christian law. It's not ruled by Sharia law either. Your ideals cannot impede on other people's liberties. I would argue that Christians, devout Christians that live in America, have somewhat assimilated themselves. You know, they're the most devout Christians, more, uh, more often than not, are not following the Bible to a T. They're not radicalized, not nearly to the degree, not nearly to the degree that radical Muslims are. And my answer to what do we do about the problem? is uh it's not a perfect answer it's really not it's i can give you a what but i can't give you a how my answer would be that yes we do learn from our response to 911 we learn that a war on islam a war on religion and us against them mentality is an awful idea it's fucking ludicrous but we also learn to hold people in uh we we also learn to hold individuals accountable and I think one big mistake that both sides tend to make is generalizing everything. You know, the right says, Islam goes against our conservative ideals. This is, this is anti-American. They are fighting our principles. You know, that's, that's stupid. And at the same time, the left's generalizing, saying, We're oppressing all Muslims with our Western, cons uh, with our Western colonial ideas and our uh, oppressive nature. Oh, we need to be more sensitive to Muslims, especially after a radical Islamic attack. No. That's also stupid. What you do is you, you do serious background checks, serious but reasonable, like we should be doing with firearms. You hold the right to account, and you ensure that, you ensure that, Muslims do have access to this country if they are qualified, if they are, if they are able to earn citizenship and follow the laws that everyone else are upheld to. You hold the left accountable and tell them, no, you don't get a safeguard because you're a minority in this country. You don't get special protection. You're not an oppressed class. You're a fucking human being and... Uh, if your religion gets in the way of living as a citizen and having your own liberties and giving other people their own liberties and respecting their liberties, then you you cannot be here. It's uh it's funny to see two dogs just running in opposite directions and the bone is right there in the middle of the fucking yard. It's a uh, it's about holding the government accountable and it's about stopping the spread of just rhetoric and hate speech on both sides. That was a really shitty answer, but there's my two cents.